Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial video series about how to make a ship in Minecraft. So uh, I was watching BWO and he was talking about you know how there weren't very many good building tutorial videos out there. Mostly it's people who are building something and then that's the tutorial. They don't really explain how or why and this inspired me to try and convey a bit of my knowledge on how to make ships in Minecraft and try to make you understand a little bit more on the who's what's it's of uh, crafting ships so what we've got here is a 2D outline for a Spanish Galleon uh, it's a reasonably common ship to build um, that's why I chose it and I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit of what I've done here uh, the first thing that I've done was look up a reference image which is always very important I'm gonna pull up my uh, 2D reference image on the screen right now and as you can see of course it's not exactly the same you've got your uh, your own creative license uh, you can do whatever you want with your reference but it's very important that you have that reference because that helps you uh, see like scales and ratios and this is very important when building something that's not completely fantasy so what we if we start in the back this top bit is you know where the captain quarters and what have you uh, is usually situated uh, if we go down, this is the back part of the ship, this is where the rudder will be and this is a reasonably st straight angle which then goes down in a sloping curve downwards which I actually need to fix a little bit because this needs to be longer and this needs to be a bit longer and why that is is because if you have like a short a short piece of uh, a short series of blocks then another short series of blocks and then a long series of blocks it's gonna look like the curve goes in this fashion and what we want for the bottom of a ship is to have the curve go in this fashion and for that you need the blocks to be equal or longer length so that you get that idea of a curve as we can if we move along here you see that slowly this is long slightly short, well very much shorter shorter and very short, very short then it goes up a bit farther uh, to give it an inward curve, so here we've got the outward curve you can see because of we've got longer, longer, shorter, shorter and then we instantly shift around go longer, shorter, 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 longer, longer, longer which creates that inward curve that we're looking for and then we round it off with a outward curve by doing the same thing again going from long shorter short so that's basically how you do this and this is this is mostly me looking at the reference and uh, sort of rebuilding that so this is you know the the uh, the hull of the ship and what we're gonna do now is lay out the framework for the ship itself and for that we're gonna look at a angled reference image so if you look at the screen this is not really a very accurate representation but we can see somewhat of what we're gonna do see here you've got the the little balcony that stretches out and actually we're gonna yes we're gonna start underneath that balcony we'll add the balcony later in the detailing phase so we're just going to actually let me have a better look yeah we're just gonna pull this out a little bit Let's see how many blocks is this one two three four five six the back of the ship is slightly thinner than the than the front of the ship to keep it in balance because this is gonna be filled with a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff here, so this sh the ship needs to be in balance. So what we're going to do here for this particular ship is make this hull 
go in a actually we 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 might want to do this a bit faster and have it go out like this like this like this make it go out faster then we can add more blocks like this and create that nice outward curve that we were talking about earlier so if we look from the top you can see that we get a reasonably nice outward curve going which we are going to keep up for the rest of this actually I was noticing that we went out a little bit too fast and what I think I'm gonna do is bring this in a little bit so I've got a little bit more room to work with uh, let's break these, break these break these, these and these and it's still a nice curve actually let's make this m one more make it go out a little bit more like that and make this a little bit longer and this is a lot of experimenting work that you're going to be doing to get just the right shape that you want for your ship so we're going to just extend this out and keep making these increments longer until we get to the center of the ship which is when we are going to make them shorter again so we've got this going down here and this is looking pretty good I would say uh, this is about the see if you look down to the bottom there it's the bottom row so we're actually going to make this a one two three four five six we're gonna make it six and then go back in so we're not going to make this one six we're going to make this one two three four five uh, did I count that right now five and just bring it in now so I'll just slowly bring it back in uh, we've got uh, one two three four one two three and one two three and one two one two and then we're here so as you can see actually this is not quite right I don't really like how this is looking this needs to be out further Let's have a little looky poo. Yeah, this needs to be a bit longer, this center area. Take this out a bit like this and just bring this further out. And then we're going to bring this like this so that we get a, uh, a hard outward curve here, which is a typical for the ship that we're building at the moment. So if we just take a little look from the top, um, I think we can make it a little bit wider. So if you just make it a little bit bigger on this end, extend this out a little bit more, go like this, go like this, and like this and then add that one extra layer let's see let's bring this like that and take this all out as you can see you know we I, you really should take a top down view which I didn't do for this which is mainly me being lazy but a top top down sorry top down view will help you a lot with getting this shape right which I'm still not getting right because you can just you know follow along with the image a lot better like you do with the outside frame but as we're getting closer I think this is looking quite nice I'm going to actually redo this and bring this out a bit more and go like this so this should look good I hope so otherwise we're going to have to do uh, let's see yeah that looks quite good that looks quite good let me just make this one 
ever so slightly longer add two to this one and will be sound as a pound is is a pound what does a pound mean i I know it's currency, but surely you're not sound as as one pound as a little quid sound as a quid what does that mean? Can someone tell me that is it like a is it like a slang word for a or different word for a duck for a duck because that's what it makes me feel like sound as a as a pound so I'm going to mirror this for the other side and we're just gonna skip that part because that's boring that's just me mirroring. Okay guys, and we're back. I also added this uh, little bit of detail in, which is just doing the same thing for the blow bit, but mirroring this uh, inside bit, which I've actually done wrong here. Derp. And going, making that go outward in increments that look nice. So what we're going to do now is make the frame for our ship, which is another very important part uh, because that's going to ensure the shape of your hull, which is a very important part of a ship and it really has to look good. So we're going to just start here and make it go nice and wide keep an eye on what we've got going on on the top side so we're just gonna go like this and go like this and go up 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 then go back in because that's what our ship looks like oh actually we end up here hmm it's not really what I want uh, I want this to go out like this then go like that then go like this this is all messy with these log placements back in the day it used to be easy, it just went up it's the only thing it did upwards which was nice but times are changing for the good, for the worse, I don't know it's changing, that's what I do now um, let's see, how does this shape look? Hmm, not really satisfied with it, to be honest. Uh, I'm actually not going to do this incline here. I'm just going to make it go outward immediately. And make this, so we can do this a little bit more like that. And bring this in a little bit earlier. Ah, uh, I like that. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Let's set the time back to zero. Mm, so let's see if we have a look at this. Yeah, this looks quite nice. If you, maybe if we do this a little bit more, a little bit more of a curvy shape to it, which might be good, might not be good. I think, yes, I'm going to actually do this and get rid of this one entirely and make this go in a little bit more smoothly. And this is all just basically playing around and seeing what, or looking what you think uh, looks best for this specific task. So, just putting this here. By the way, the texture pack that I'm using, you probably want to know, is Lynching's Remix Pack from John Smith. And the reason I'm using that is because the regular John Smith makes everything have this brown hue. The sky and the stone and everything has this really brownish looking hue. And if we, let's see, for example, if we look, see, it's got the brown, but then you've got these other other materials like the walls and the what have yous that are a bit more contrasted so that you don't just have a large brown blob which it still is a little bit but I mean it's a nice look uh, for me 
So what I'm going to do now is just continue this style along the whole ship and we'll be back when that is finished. Hello guys and we're back. I didn't really need to say hello guys because this is not the start of a new video but I said it anyway. So we finished the the uh, skeleton of the ship, the framework of the ship and basically what I've done is when you work out of the center you go up and make them smaller and as you go further along which is also what you do at the front bring them up and slowly make them smaller because as this goes up the curve of the hull should go up with it. So yeah, right now actually I think this one needs a little bit more of this. Yeah, that's better. Uh, we've got a pretty nice framework and for next episode, I hope next episode that this was one episode, I don't know how long it actually took, <laughs> but in next episode we will start filling it in and start explaining how masts work on ship. So look forward to that one and I will see you guys next time.